Marquise. Look at that. First run movie for eight bucks. How can you beat it? Little Olympic hotel sign. Gonna pan over here. This is all all part of the same club. Now. Oh, go ahead guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Try not to get you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so our hotel has a total of 27 rooms. Um, the 27th room is the one, uh, number 27 right over there, that's the only one that's on the ground level. The other 26 are going to be upstairs. Okay. And it's the only one with the personal bathroom. Only one with the personal bathroom. It's our King Suite um, ADA accessible room. All the rest of them are going to be common bath, called like European style. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see all of these up here. You guys want to go ahead and I'll grab the door from you. Thank you, Megan. Hello. This is so cool. You know a lot of people, you know, that ask about is your hotel haunted? Good to know there's a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of bathrooms for the rest of us. That's right. Um, lots of artwork. Um, here's our infamous Roy Gardner. He's a big guy. You'll see a lot of him around up here. Um, he was a famous train robber. Um, he, uh, yeah, robbed trains, ran from them. Um, in this painting, you'll see he's got his. He wrapped his face in um, a gauze to try to mask his identity and checked into our hotel. And then they caught on and he was actually arrested up here in the hotel. Oh, wow. I want to say it was 1923. I could be wrong on the date there. Yeah, he's so a train he was, robber? Famous train robber, Roy Gardner. Right yeah, you'll see a lot of his name posted around here. And, uh, so that? each of our each of our rooms have different names. Um, you'll notice, and they each represent people that have to do with the history with either the Olympic Club specifically or the City of Centralia. You know, somehow, some way, ties into the Olympic Club. Okay. Um, so the. The ghosts that we have around here, the employees have a um, little thing we always say, like, it's Elmer. Well, we call him Elmer. We got Elmer the ghost. If you hear something, feel something. It's Elmer, um, huh? I wondered if it was the same Elmer, but I don't think it is. But I learned a lot about Elmer Smith. He was a, um, a lawyer who represented the um, like union um, workers and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and like helped represent them during the Centralia massacre. Okay. Um, when there was uh, a whole fight broke out, like four or five people died. Um, so that was kind of a crazy time, history of Centralia. Yeah, a lot of energy running around during yeah, that time. Yeah, it took place right here on Tower Avenue. Yeah. Um, so back here, so you know, <clears throat> this was a brothel. Um, um, I've heard a couple different things where the whole hotel is a brothel or just these four back rooms were the main brothel rooms. Um, it's hard to say really what's true. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel like back here, room 13, you know, I didn't check to see which rooms are empty right now. I should have, because uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's just the number 13. Mm -hmm. But that's one people request a lot to stay in where they feel the most energy. Oh, really? Um, okay. Um, hmm. I don't know if anybody's seeing that right now, but we should check. 
Housekeeping. Boy, there is so much history here. Okay. So this is number 13. Number 13 said to uh, be, you know, have the most energy and <clears throat> people like to stay in here to see if they can see anything or feel anything. Does it feel any different in here to you guys? It's a little warm. <laughs> yeah. But I noticed when we I don't know, about 20 feet down the hall, it just felt different. And I don't know if it's because we're, you know, at the edge of the building or what. I didn't feel it any different in here, but mm -hmm. as we walked in there. there. Yeah, that was interesting. <clears throat> huh, any idea who that guy is? So that is Louis Sony. Sony, okay. Um, yeah, so, yeah, each of the rooms have, you know, the person named after them. Or, I mean, the, it's named after a person. And um, so they'll each kind of have the story about them oh, posted on the walls. Oh, okay. That's so neat. And that's from the Oregonian in 1949. Right? That's awesome. Yeah. Most of the rooms are all fairly the same. You know, we've got bed, um, we've got king rooms, queen rooms, and bunk bed rooms. You got uh -huh. the sink. Pretty simple though. There's no bombs, no TV. You can just have a nice quiet time. These are actually, it's more spacious in here than I thought. You could be mm -hmm. very comfortable. It's bigger than the yeah. New Orleans. Yeah. I would say the New Orleans ones was half, oh, there two was thirds. Like a, you had to crawl <clears throat> on the me. end of the bed to get yeah. into the bed. Oh. And it was like <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I would highly recommend anybody coming and staying here. This is, you definitely have enough room. Yeah. There. Can I peek out the window? Yeah. What? Yeah. You need to see the process here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's the train station is going to be off to the left. So we get a lot oh. of travelers, of course. You know, people traveling on the train or traveling through Centralia. Um, it's originally said to be Centerville because we're right smack dab in the center of between right. um, Seattle and Portland. Right. So it's a good halfway spot, you know, if you're driving or, you know. This would be a great little train destination coming up from yeah. Portland or down from Seattle. Stop here. Yeah, yeah. Stay here and then go about your business. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you experience any ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, just oh, all these. Yeah. What's that? Oh, George oh. Washington room. Oh, yeah. Right on. Well, George Washington, not the George Washington. Right. You know, the, but George Washington, who was the founder of Centralia. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, these hotel rooms are, it's really unbelievable <laughs> how good a shape they are and beautiful. This is yeah. the George Washington we were just talking about, his name here. Uh, trying to, sorry, trying to get out of your way. Um, yeah, so the hotel is kind of, kind of a big square around. Okay. The number 11 um, one, can you tell us about that? Yeah, so, well, I was trying to do a little research on myself. Hey, Sam, I'm like, <laughs> so we're doing a tour. Yay. You can do the 11, right? Um, so, doing a little research myself, I, I came across, um, so at one point in time there was a fire up here. I can't remember the exact year. Um, and uh, one of the guys staying, I, I believe it said the far corner right room, I think it was. And I think it might be 11. It's one of these ones um, that uh, he had jumped out of the window to try to, you know, oh, no. escape the fire got badly injured and then he actually um, died later on, you know, shortly later on due to his injuries. Um, yeah, so... Wow. Uh, okay. 
housekeeping. So, good thing. Um, you can see that it's okay. very similar to the other one. Okay, yeah. I always think of these as small hair, but these are bigger than a lot of people's <laughs> bedrooms. And this one's a nice one because you got the two windows as well. Oh, yeah. I like this room. Scoot past here. <clears throat> These lights are unusual. I've never seen none like them. <laughs> They look like suns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So awesome. I see a lot of sun moon stuff in the Peek out the window real quick. Again, the uh, drain depot right over there. That nice sitting area down there. I would imagine this big building, you feel temperature changes throughout. In this. Yeah, and you know, having it be an old building, um, yeah, keeping the temperature regulated is, of course, you know, a little bit tricky. Um, we actually don't brew beer here on our location because of that reason. We have an old oh. brewery, mm -hmm. um, but uh, they couldn't keep it regulated enough, you know, so mm -hmm. now our beer just comes from other locations sure that makes sense i just noticed it's a little cooler than it was in that other section where i said it all warmed up mm -hmm. you know, went in through there and i imagine it's the all the different heating yeah always feeling for spirits but i don't <laughs> think that's it <laughs> is there an attic in this place there is there actually yeah, yeah there's a entryway well this one right here goes up to the roof roof access. Oh, okay. Um, but it's in our linen, one of our linen closets. Um, you know, if there's a leak or something, our maintenance guys have to go crawling up in there. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I don't know if this will come out on video, but pretty cool, these little... What is the marker mean? Is that her maiden, or is it... It must be. That's why I brought this up. Excuse oh. me. This is all a test, thing. Megan. I know. <laughs> First, oh yeah, that's right. Um, there's a picture of her downstairs. Okay. Um, she's the lasting, um, first lasting female bartender at the Olympic Club. Oh. She worked from 1983 through the mid 90s. That's awesome. They named it room after her. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm guessing Marker must be her maiden name. Isn't it amazing? We're still, even today, dealing with those you know, equal rights things, yeah. you know, and she then, and, yeah. and yeah. to say in 1980, she was the first female bartender. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, after, yeah. you know, women weren't even allowed in here to begin with. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, you put two or two or two. Yeah. So to be able to work here. Now in this place, you know, are. Unless you were a lady in the. Here. Yeah, yeah, working lady. Yeah. But yeah, now, you know, these days, um, you know, I'm the hotel manager. Cheryl is our pub manager. Um, and uh, Brittany is our uh, whole property manager, you know. Wow. Females. Through a, through a titian, <laughs> you took over. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All righty. Get by you here. Oh, I see what you're saying about a big square now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the four rooms up on the street side, the front, those were our king rooms. King room? King, yeah, the king beds. So, so those are oh, okay. more spacious and, you know, people like staying on that side. It's interesting, you have the name of the, you know, the people you know, were attached. And we found going to the cemeteries, you see the old 
names and you know stuff pop up and it's just it's like a um, I don't know museum of you know who's who yeah. you know kind of thing almost yeah reading, kind of reading on that. that's why we have yeah. the lovely walking guides and all this paper stuff so you can read up on the history and who they are and everything while you're awesome. doing, you know while you're touring around if you want to I definitely walk so. oh yeah okay yeah well you got several bathrooms up uh -huh. here yeah okay and, and you know it's not a not a far walk from you know for any so. and you provide the <laughs> the robes the robes so there you go yeah huh. and they're comfy robes i come from military vacuum uh background so when you say communal i'm just thinking everybody's you know yeah, in there. i try to clarify that with everyone <laughs> that it's not like a stall system or right. anything like that you know it yeah. is you go and you walk in behind you and you're still in a private bathroom right just not in your rooms yeah i don't know why that just lodges in my head but yeah it's like yeah you yeah. can lock on this door <laughs> <laughs> oh you even got coffee up here Yeah, I haven't really, you know, personally felt anything or heard or seen anything. Um, I know a couple of our housekeepers definitely have, you know, they're the ones up here the most, with, mm -hmm. especially, you know, when it's, when you're by yourself and it's quiet and, you know, some weird, you know, weird, unexplainable thing happens. <laughs> what kind of stuff have they said? Do you remember anything um, specific? Gosh, I don't know she said. I don't have to remember. I, I see. This is why we need that log book. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Didn't um, mean to put you on the spot because I know how that is. I think it was. I think she had like seen someone walk by, but she was the only one up here by herself. Like she was really, really freaked out by it. Oh really? Um, I know. Like uh, again with the basement, like, there's been lots of times people have seen somebody walking around in the basement. Um, uh, our a previous kitchen employee. I remember him telling me a while ago that um, he saw like a like a, a guy wearing like a cloak and like top hat. Mm -hmm. which like from that era. Much, yeah. Yeah, the old um, era. Yeah, so that was always a creepy one. I'm always like, when I go down there, <laughs> am I gonna see him? <laughs> um, I know you like like part of you wants to, and the rest don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you know, like I said, uh, the theater seems to, you know, have a lot of energy back in there. Um, Bethany, our uh, front desk person, she's my assistant manager. Um, we were just actually talking earlier today that she feels like she seems when you know doing recording in there, like mm -hmm. during music, um, has like seen like some orbs and stuff in there. Oh, really? In the theater? Yeah, in the theater. Nice, nice. So, oh. yeah. Um, I know like on the basement, you know, that uh, recording that I told you for this 13, 14 years old. Um, I don't know if you caught that, but Cheryl was there yeah, when that was wild. done. I thought that was crazy. Yeah. But um, I don't remember the word, but we caught a word on it and then we call, caught a, another voice. Mm -hmm. There's one or two voices on yeah. it. Cheryl actually yeah. mentioned too that, um, the, the, at that time, they caught a lot of the orbs and stuff um, up oh. here. Mostly. So oh, up was, here. This, it was a hot spot up here. Really? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Nice. We caught an orb at our house one time. Yeah, that's the only real visual thing that I've that I've really seen visually in my life. But we caught it. It was very clear, and it like came out of a light like that. You know, that light, and then it just went into the kitchen, and it was it was not dust. Because <laughs> the way it went too. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was way away from the camera because like um, sometimes I've seen dust that'll be up close to the right. camera, you know, and yeah, like an insect looks like a Godzilla sometimes, right? <laughs> you know, well, this was like, I don't know, 15, 20 feet away from the camera and came out. It was about, about the size of a softball, if I remember right. And then it just clearly went out. It was the only one and we ever did, seen. Yeah, it yeah. didn't go straight. <laughs> yeah, went in the kitchen and was gone. <laughs> The only thing here that I've experienced, which I didn't see anything here, um, and this is just kind of weird, uh, but I swear it happened. Uh, it was probably it was actually just after I took this position, so it wasn't it wasn't even a year ago. Um, 
it was a good quiet morning. Nobody else. I went into the downstairs female bathroom, and um, uh, I was the only one in there. Normal. All of a sudden, and all of a sudden, the not the sink with all the faucets, but the main sink. All of a sudden, just turned on full blast. <laughs> all of, I was just using the bathroom, and then it was just like psh, really loud, and I was like, "Whoa, what's that sound?" I thought somebody had come in to the bathroom mm -hmm. and was in there, and then when I got out of the stall, nobody's in there, and the water was just on full blast. It was the weirdest thing. I, I can't explain it. I don't know. It wasn't on when I walked in. I had that happen when I was in the bathtub. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Soft draft. Yelling for my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> I don't know if this will help you. Um, I try to let people know in my, I've experienced stuff for like, I don't know, I was a teenager. Um, all the kind of crazy stuff. And I've had, you know, many different experiences. And we've lived in three or four haunted homes. We kind of think that we, we just, people. Brings it. Yeah, they yeah. bring it on. Yeah. I think it's him. Yeah. I didn't believe in it. But well, I think it's now both of us because um, we're believers. But um, I don't believe anything is evil, or if it is evil, it's like five percent. Um, because everything has been—it's just kind of like you know, like uh, you know, you can't see me. I'm maybe a little frustrated. I'm going to knock this off. To <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, here. Right. You know that kind of thing. Trying to get attention. Yeah, and then there could be more to it, you know, which I do believe. But I really think it's a lot of. You know, I feel like that's a common thing people say, though. Yeah. It's usually, like, pretty harmless. And, and yeah. I think it's also how you feel. If yeah. you're scared, yeah. you're going to bring on who knows, you know, and I think it's more in your head. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do too. I believe yeah. it's what you bring. Yeah. yeah, it's how you feel up here and in I here. Think so too. Okay. Well, um, that kind of sums up our. All of our uh, property here. Awesome. Well, thank so you, Megan. Any questions or anything? Yeah. Or great host. Yeah. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to turn off the video now. My arm is tired. <laughs>